We start by noticing that when x lies between the limits of integration, which are pi upon 2 and 3 pi upon 2, the value of sine x will lie between minus 1 and 1, multiplying by 2. This means that the value of 2 sine x will lie between minus 2 and 2. Now we plot the function 2 sine x between the limits of integration on the Cartesian plane. The value of the function is equal to 2 when x is equal to pi upon 2 and the value of the function is equal to minus 2 when x is equal to 3 pi upon 2 and in between at x is equal to pi the value of the function is equal to 0. Now let's denote by a the point at which the function is equal to 2. Let's denote by b the point at which the function is equal to minus 2. Let c be the point where the function is equal to 0. Let p be the point where the value of the function is equal to 1. And finally, let q be the point where the value of the function is equal to minus 1. Now, point p is when 2 sin x is equal to 1 or sin x is equal to half. And this condition is satisfied in the interval pi upon 2 to 3 pi upon 2 when x is equal to pi minus pi upon 6 or 5 pi upon 6. Similarly, point Q is when 2 sin x is equal to minus 1 or sin x is equal to minus half. And this condition is satisfied in the interval pi upon 2 to 3 pi upon 2 when x is equal to pi plus pi upon 6 which is equal to 7 pi upon 6. Now between the points a and p, where the value of x lies between pi upon 2 and 5 pi upon 6, we note from the above chart that the value of 2 sin x is greater than or equal to 1 and strictly less than 2. And therefore, integral part of 2 sin x is equal to 1. Similarly, between the points p and c, when x lies between 5 pi upon 6 and pi, the value of 2 sin x is greater than or equal to 0 and strictly less than 1. And therefore, integral part of 2 sin x will be equal to 0. Between the points c and q, when x lies between pi and 7 pi upon 6, the value of 2 sin x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and strictly less than 0 and therefore the integral part of 2 sin x is equal to minus 1. And finally between the points q and b where the value of x lies between 7 pi upon 6 and 3 pi upon 2 it follows from the chart above that the value of 2 sin x will be greater than or equal to minus 2 and strictly less than minus 1. And it therefore follows that integral part of 2 sin x in this range is equal to minus 2. And therefore the integral of the integral part of 2 sin x between the limits pi upon 2 and 3 pi upon 2 can be broken into four integrals. The limits of integration for the first integral are pi upon 2 and 5 pi upon 6. The limits for the second integral are 5 pi upon 6 and pi. The limits for the third integral are pi and 7 pi upon 6. And the limits of integration for the fourth integral are 7 pi upon 6 and 3 pi upon 2. Now plugging in the values of integral part of 2 sin x for each of these intervals obtained above, we get integral between the limits pi upon 2 to 5 pi upon 6 of 1 times dx plus integral 5 pi upon 6 to pi of 0 plus integral from pi to 7 pi upon 6 of minus 1 dx plus integral 7 pi upon 6 to 3 pi upon 2 minus 2 times dx. This is equal to 5 pi upon 6 minus pi upon 2 plus 0 minus in brackets 7 pi upon 6 minus pi minus 2 times in brackets 3 pi upon 2 minus 7 pi upon 6. This is equal to 2 pi upon 6 minus pi upon 6 minus 2 times 2 pi upon 6. This is equal to pi upon 6 times in brackets 2 minus 1 minus 4. 
and therefore the value of the given integral simplifies to minus pi upon 2 which is the required answer.